Federal Emergency Management Agency. What's up everyone, General Discharge here. Today's video is going to be discussing the United States Federal Emergency Management Agency, or FEMA for short. FEMA is an agency of the United States Department of Homeland Security and is tasked with coordinating responses to disasters that occur in the U.S. that overwhelm the resources of local and state authorities. Pretty much any giant disaster you can think of was dealt with by FEMA. Hurricane Katrina, California wildfires, the COVID-19 pandemic, FEMA is the expert of emergency management. If you want to know more about FEMA, what it does, what it's capable of doing, its makeup, training, requirements, and much more, sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Before we jump into it, make sure to take a moment and show us some love and support by liking our video and subscribing to our channel. Your support is our lifeblood. Do not hesitate to ask us questions in the comment section below. We check everything. FEMA was created by President Carter in 1978. It was its own agency until 2003, where it was absorbed into the DHS. When a state needs assistance, it can call on FEMA to help. But here's the thing. FEMA cannot start helping a state unless the governor declares a state of emergency and formally asks the president for its support. Until that happens, it is unable to respond. The only exception to that is if something occurs or takes place on federal property or to a federal asset. FEMA's work starts before disaster occurs. It educates in risk reduction actions and helps take preventative action before disasters by preparation, alerts, and warnings. Once a disaster occurs, it coordinates federal response, applies and manages resources, and applies insights to future risk afterwards. But what constitutes a disaster? A disaster is defined as an adverse condition or occurrence that requires coordinated action across multiple entities to resolve. Disasters include all types of emergencies and hazards, from severe storms, power outages, earthquakes, wildfires, winter storms, and much more. FEMA is prepared for all of these. Using its core values, which are compassion, fairness, integrity, and respect, FEMA gets the job done and saves lives. It also uses money, because disasters are quite expensive. FEMA's annual budget is around $18 billion, which are dispersed to different states depending on where emergencies and disasters wind up occurring. There are currently 10 different regions that the FEMA has allocated across the U.S. The picture on screen shows you where these regions are. Let's go over some of the makeup of FEMA, as it will explain to you what they do and how they do it. On screen is the makeup of FEMA. Pause the screen to take a longer look. You probably just said to yourself, what was I even looking at? Don't worry, we'll explain. FEMA has its Mitigation Directorate, National Response Coordination Center, Disaster Medical Assistant Teams, Urban Search and Rescue, and Mobile Emergency Response Support. Let's briefly go over these. The Mitigation Directorate is responsible for programs that take action before a disaster in order to identify risks and reduce injuries, loss of property, and recovery time. On to the NRCC. The NRCC is a multi-agency center located at FEMA's headquarters that coordinates the overall federal support for major disasters and emergencies, including catastrophic incidents and support of operations at the regional level. It specifically provides emergency management coordination, planning, resource deployment, and collects and disseminates incident information as it builds and maintains situational awareness at the national level. Now on to the disaster medical assistance teams. DMATs are part of the National Disaster Medical System. There are 55 of them spread throughout the country. They provide medical care at disasters and are typically made up of doctors and paramedics. There's national nursing response teams, national pharmacy response teams, veterinary medical assistance teams, and then there's disaster mortuary operational response teams, which provide mortuary and forensic services. Next up are the urban search and rescue task forces. Did you know General Discharge has an Instagram? We actively post memes, video updates, and whatever else we feel like. Join the team and follow us at general.discharge. Links in the description. Now back to the video. There are teams of individuals who specialize in urban search and rescue, disaster recovery, and emergency triage and medicine. The task forces are equipped and ready to deploy within six hours in various response models. The amount of things these teams can do is astonishing. On screen are all of their capabilities. Pause the screen to take a longer look. 
And on top of that, at least 14 members of each task force are trained for rescue operations in various water environments. These self-sufficient teams can be deployed as a water rescue mission ready package. They work alongside local rescuers to help reach and recover survivors trapped by flood waters. There's also canine rescuers, which are a critical element of each task force, as their keen sense of smell allows them to locate victims that might go undiscovered. The majority of the dog handlers on the task forces are civilian volunteers. And lastly, mobile emergency response support. These teams provide communication support to local public safety. Since they're the comms guys, they deal with setting up mobile and portable comms equipment, and stage what they need and where they need it to be able to communicate with the outside world. Okay, so you have a pretty decent idea of what FEMA is and does. What's the training like to get into it? What about the requirements? The training for FEMA is a little unconventional for agency standards. While there are academies, they're not academies like the FBI or DEA Academy. FEMA offers a large number of training classes, either at its own centers, through programs at the state level, in cooperation with colleges and universities, or online. If you go on their website, they have the National Emergency Basic Academy, Advanced Academy, and Executive Academy. Each of these academies have different prerequisites and teach different courses at varying levels of depth. You'll learn about all aspects of emergency management and response, and depending on what level you're at, the scope will grow. As far as requirements go, it depends on what you want to do. FEMA has permanent full-time, on-call reservists, and a cadre of on-call response recovery also referred to as core. There's a whole slew of requirements depending on that, so we won't bore you with the intricacies. We'll leave a link to the careers portion of their website in the description below. And there you go. You now have a decent idea of what FEMA is and does. We hope you got something out of this video. If you're into learning more about other civilian and law enforcement entities, we've done plenty of videos on them. On screen are all the videos we've done thus far. There will be a playlist in the description for them. Well, that is the down and dirty of the United States Federal Emergency Management Agency. If you learned something from this video, make sure to give us a like and subscribe to our channel. As always, thank you for watching. Do you even want to be here? A big shout out to all of our YouTube members and our patrons over at our Patreon. Thank you all so much for taking the extra step in supporting our channel. It is much appreciated. If you'd like to be featured on a general discharge video, consider joining our membership with the link in the description or the join button to the left of the subscribe button, or go give our Patreon a look and join the team. Here's Nick Nausea. All your friends are subscribing to general discharge and you don't even want to be here.